Welcome my friends to Art Lab, where today I have something really special that I want to share with you. In the past, we've talked about many famous artists. We've done masterpieces of Van Gogh and Monet, and all these artists, my friends, have already passed away. But today, we are going to talk about an artist that still is alive and still creating beautiful artwork. So I would like to introduce you to this man right here. If you could see on the top, his name is Damien Hurst. Damien Hurst was born in 1965, which means he's only 55 years old. He was born and still lives in London, England. He has his own museum. And my friends, I want you to look really close What's behind today's artist? Can you see that? If you focus on that really close, if you look at it, it looks like a bunch of beautiful colors, doesn't it? But look closer. What do you see? Did you guess? Yeah, those are butterflies. Thousands and thousands of butterflies. Damien took the butterflies with colors, okay? Those are real butterflies. Took the colors and made this beautiful masterpiece out of blue and yellow. Look at that. So a lot of his artwork is not done with paints, but it's done with, in this case, real butterflies. So today, my friends, I thought it'd be kind of fun to recreate Damien Hirst's butterfly kaleidoscope. Look at that. Again, if you look close, look at that. What did he make that out of? That's right. Butterfly prints. Isn't that beautiful? And if you're if you know anything about kaleidoscopes, you know that they're a tube. You look in the tube and as you turn it, it makes all beautiful designs. So as you see, my friends, as I turn this, it's the same design over and over again. Perfect, just perfect, all lined up. So what we're going to do now is we are going to recreate Damien Hurst Butterfly Kaleidoscope. Are you ready? I know I am. I'm super excited about today's art craft. So, for those of you that came to the library and picked up your bag, you may go ahead and take the pieces out of it, out of the art lab bag. For those of you that are viewing today that do not have one, do not worry about it, my friends. Everything in this bag, you can recreate at home with simple things that you have, and I'm going to show you how. So, for those of you that have your bag, you're going to see in your bag, a circle of yellow cardstock, all right? For those that, you, that do not have the bag, you can do this out of construction paper. It's nice to do it out of something a little bit more like a piece of cardboard, poster board, whatever you have. You can even do a paper plate and color the paper plate. So this is gonna be your kaleidoscope. This is gonna be the base of your kaleidoscope. It's gonna go back and forth. Also, inside of our bag. Let's see what else we have. Well, of course, you can't do a butterfly kaleidoscope without butterflies, right? So we have some butterflies that we're going to work with. If you do not have the bag, you can go ahead and take a paper plate, a white paper plate, my friends, Take a butterfly, make it out of the paper plate, so draw a butterfly on there, out of your paper plate. I use a little template that I have, and you can make the same thing, just out of an ordinary paper plate. You can go ahead and cut it out, and you're gonna have something that looks like this. You can find the template online even, if you wanted to. Okay, so with that, we're gonna go ahead and let's see what we're gonna to make today. So the first thing 
you're gonna take. Now, my friends, you are gonna create this butterfly kaleidoscope your way that makes it unique to you. So I'm just gonna give you some ideas. You may use markers that maybe you had at school. You're gonna need a glue stick. You can use crayons. If you'd like to use crayons, you can use some crayons. I like sometimes to use colored pencils. Okay, so use a bunch of colored pencils. And if you have this, you may use this little stuff. What is that? Glitter. If you use glitter at home, my friends, be sure to put it like in a little plate or something because glitter gets pretty messy, but it's so much fun. So much fun. All right. Let's get started. You're gonna start with your circle. Put it down on your work surface. You have your butterflies. If you wanna make more butterflies, now's the time to do it. If you wanna make different kaleidoscopes with different things, okay? You wanna do that. Then you're gonna go ahead, you can take your markers, take your colored pencils, you can take your crayons, and you're gonna decorate your butterflies. When you have your seven butterflies decorated, or if you wanna make more butterflies out of, again, your little templates, go ahead. You're gonna take and you're gonna glue it onto your kaleidoscope. So let's go ahead, let's take our little butterfly and let's begin. So you're gonna decorate your butterflies I'm putting it this way, my friends. Here's the one that I made. I made this with just markers. This is the design that I thought I would make. You can make any design you want. But if you see, see how when you turn it, see how you're getting, let see if you follow the butterflies on the top. See, it just goes around. You could put, if you have like glitter, you could put some glitter on the inside of it if you'd like. If you want, if you have like little, sometimes you have like the little jewels, the little stick-ons, you can put little jewels in there to make it look like it's going around. If you would like to go ahead and use your glitter, this is what it would look like with glitter. And again, my friends, this is just what I did. You can do anything you'd like. You can take it. You can use, some of them you can make glitter. Some of them you can paint. Whatever you'd like. It's your project. Put that down like that. This is the one, how it looks like with glitter. I like the glitter. So I decided to make one because I thought that was so sparkly. That really, really reminds me of a kaleidoscope. And see, there's the one I did, but you can do any of them, any kinds of different. This one I just kind of sparkled a little bit. These I covered the whole butterfly. Any way you'd like. If you don't want to use the butterflies and you want to just draw and make your own butterflies, you can do that too. I would love to see your finished kaleidoscope. So if you'd like to share your kaleidoscopes with us, please feel free to put it on our Facebook, Ask Moms, Ask Your Caregivers or Your Parents. I would love to see what you come up with. I think you're going to do a great job. I hope you enjoyed today's art lab as much as I enjoyed showing you. What I'd like for you to do right now is think about it. Think about how are you gonna make your kaleidoscope? How are you gonna make it special? Join me again, my friends, because we have other things coming up. So let's see, let's see what I have for us today. Well, we have, at the end of the month, on the 31st, Crazy Crafters. So Crazy Crafters, we are gonna make a 3D hot air balloon. So I'm excited about that, so please join us. Again, you can pick up a craft bag at the library. You can come in to pick it up or you can get it by curbside. So please join me for Crazy Crafters on the 31st. Also, getting into August, 
I have Imagination Station where we're gonna make coffee filters. That's right. Anything and everything to do with coffee filters. That is in August. Another thing we're gonna have is the Family Virtual Book Club, and that is August 5th, where you can download a book, read it together as a family, and then we get together live on Zoom and we talk about the book. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed Art Lab for today. Please join me again, and there's a lot of other wonderful, wonderful programs that we have at the McHenry Public Library, so be sure to go on onto our website, give us a call, give us a chat, and we'll tell you all about it. Look for us on Facebook, we're also on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see all of you soon. And remember, enjoy your kaleidoscopes. I love it. Thanks for, for joining me. Take care, have a great day. Bye.